Trolley's second episode opens with the shocking revelation that Jihoon is the father of Su Bin's upcoming child. She is about five weeks pregnant. She was reportedly staying at Jihoon's apartment when they began dating. They apparently met through a common friend. Su Bin was also present at the funeral home, but she did not sign the guest book because she did not think it was appropriate. She suddenly reveals that she needs a place to stay and wants to stay with them. Now, there are certain flaws in Su Bin's story because she does not have a phone. There are no pictures of them together, and she also does not have any relatives. Additionally, she is unsure whether to conceive. Assemblyman Kong, on the other hand, looks at the news and finds out more information about Ji Hoon. He mocks Jung Do for letting this information leak, believing he is unfit to run for office. In fact, there are calls for his resignation, pointing to the misuse of resources and numerous malicious online comments. Naturally, Ji Hoon's alleged drug use is the source of everything else. Through his sources, Jung Do conducts research and discovers that Ji Hoon's blood tested negative for illegal drugs. In addition, his blood alcohol level was at an acute intoxication threshold. He doesn't appear to be close enough to the edge to risk falling into the river. When Jung Do finds out that Ji Hoon was caught on camera leaving a restroom after picking up drugs and using his burner phone, he expresses genuine concern making it appear as though he and Ji Hoon are not connected at all. Jung Du puts all of his effort into his work, maintains a professional appearance with the other advisors, consumes a lot of alcohol, and puts on a brave face. Jung Du is driven back home after drinking an excessive amount, where Su Bin's pregnancy causes an even more severe headache. Haiju tries to persuade her husband to let the girl stay because she can relate to Su Bin's story because she was in the same situation. She understands what it's like to be on one's own and without a place to go. She also had Yun Seo when she was her age. Jung Du asks Su Bin questions inside the house, but unfortunately things get worse. Su Bin decides that if she has an abortion, she will report on the big scandal involving the assemblyman's son on the news. Yun Seo immediately questions Su Bin's motives when she arrives despite the latter's insistence that she did not introduce Ji Hoon to drugs. Yoon Seo rushes away but Su Bin is let to stay for the time being as the entire situation causes the family to break down. Haiju has a private conversation with Su Bin and learns that their relationship was consensual and Ji Hoon didn't push himself on her. To ensure that Su Bin is not shady or that this can't be used against them, Jung Du orders his wife to check her for drugs and alcohol. Jung Du gets up in the morning and gets ready for work. He is unfortunately cornered by a number of journalists who show up with cameras and ask him questions about the police and the drugs. As soon as Haiju appears, she breaks out in hysterics and describes how she got involved and persuaded Jung Du to conduct the investigation. However, his wife goes back inside and promises the reporters an official statement at a later time. That evening, Jung Du appears on the news and discusses the events involving Ji Hoon and Yoon Seo in an exclusive interview. He points out that after 12 hours, he made the wrong decision as an emotional parent because he was unable to locate her. Jung Du not only offers an apology, but he also tells the truth about the death of GWI Seal's granddaughter and how the prosecution failed to properly investigate it. He promises to reorganize and strengthen the legislation pertaining to digital sexual violence after he cites the alarming statistics. Jung Du addresses the people in his own country directly and informs them that the last present his son gave him was an opportunity to help the less fortunate and do what he believes is right. He will resolve the issue and strengthen legislation to ensure that those responsible receive severe punishments. Jung Du has decided to use the tragedy in his own life as motivation to step forward and do the right thing. Consequently, public opinion quickly shifts in their favor. Due to the fact that he showed up later after attending another funeral next door, it turned out that Jung Du was unaware that his wife 
had attended the same funeral. Lady Luck is shining on them both thanks to these coincidences. After this, the police show up to make an arrest for Sunkai, the kid who lied to the girl who died dot when the police arrive. He kills himself by jumping out of the window of his high-rise apartment. Nevertheless, he leaves behind a message that reads murderer Nam Jungdu. So hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned for further updates and don't forget to subscribe the channel. See you next time till then be safe. Bye.